Chapter 11 I woke fuzzy at 10.30. It took me a second to know where I was and a couple of seconds to know when I was. Sunday morning. Good. That was fine. Kitten Caboodle is closed for the day and Hunnaker's shop doesn't open till noon. I had to hurry, but not to scram. I stretched slowly and leapt to the floor. Sue was asleep on the edge of a pillow. I nuzzled her shoulder and cat-footed out and went back to the office. Nobody home. No lying brunettes, no cheap continentals, no five-pound lobsters, not even a mouse. The plastic pistol was still on the desk, and I carted it quickly to one of the shelves where it dribbled some ammo, but not very much. I checked the machine. There was nothing on it. I looked at the food bowl where Hunnicurd left me the usual breakfast of dubious crud and a tepid bowlful of yesterday's water. I drank some water and went to the desk where the Mac was flashing. I opened the mail. The first was from Buster. Pattered checked out. I groaned at the blotter and pounded the next. From Rafferty-JQ at 7thPrecinct.com Date Sunday, December 12th, 4.27 a.m. Eastern Standard Time To Sam at SamTheCat.com Subject Patter Hi, Sammy. Here's what I got. Peter Patter is Herman Hench. Wanted by Interpol. Known to trade in endangered species. Never been caught. Known to be armed with a dangerous dart gun. Careful, amigo. Yours, Gomez. I stared at it stupidly. What did it mean? I was mulling it over when... Whirr, clink! I heard the old rumbling sound in the wall. The dumbwaiter coming. I knew it was Spike, and the door slid open, and Spike jetted out and then landed precisely on top of the Mac. Have you rescued the kitten? he started, and solved the unsolvable mysteries, and gotten the girl? I shot him a look full of bullets and daggers. Oof! You got me! He fell to the floor, and then, writhing in agony, suddenly died. When I need a comic, I said. Come on, I was actually serious, Sam. He got up and came back to the blotter. I thought you'd be done. Then go back to the carpet, I said to him tightly. I think I liked you a lot better dead. You were more realistic. It's not going well. It's not even going. I stared at the wall. He was reading the e-message over my shoulder. Endangered species, he said. I know. Are Maltesas endangered? This one is. I exited email and pounced on the key that provided the key to the World Wide Web. Beaumont Nursery, I typed under search. A second later, it crowded my screen with a menu of Beaumonts. I took number three, the Beaumont Nursery at Beaumont Farms. I got to a website showing a shot of a pleasant cottage surrounded by trees, and right underneath it, a shot of the guy in Sebastian's wallet, the pleasant old man who is smiling like Santa and holding a cat. On the cottage behind him, I spotted the sign that said, Beaumont Nursery. Wiggum, New York. In 1960, the copy read, Algernon Beaumont, shown here, created the nursery at Beaumont Farms with a family of kittens imported from France. For half a century, these charming Maltesas have taken prizes and captured hearts. For how to adopt one, inquire here. I clicked on the here where I learned that a kitten 
could be adopted for 800 bucks. So could that be the answer? 800 bucks? In the 21st century, 800 bucks wasn't much of a fortune. Hardly enough to entice any game hunters into the game, and hardly enough to pay three weeks' rent on a village apartment. Spike shook his head. So how about this? He said, looking creative. The kid swallowed diamonds. They're still in his gut, and the thieves are all after him. What do you think? Or how about this one? The kitten's a clone, or an alien being. The kitten from Mars? And these scientists want him for... Spike, I said. Stop. Do you want to be helpful? He nodded. Of course. And Donna went out, by the way, so I'm free. Then go up to Caboodle and hang out with Bridget. And Spike shook his head at me. Already gone. Gone? I said stupidly. Gone with the dawn. I was up on my windowsill watching the street, and I happened to see her. She told me to tell you she had to go home or O'Shaughnessy'd yowl, but she'd talk to you later. She didn't say when. I thought for a second and then flicked at the screen. Then work the computer, I said. You could start with a search on patter, I mean on hench, and then see what you get on endangered species. You think that's important? I said, I don't know. He nodded agreeably. What about you? You want to confide what your secret of plans are? I leapt to the window and scowled at him. No.